such a happy feeling too. Like it really makes you feel good when you, you nail that note, you know, or you, you really get that song just perfect. You know, and the, the, the bass and the drums are connected real well and the guitars and the keyboard are just working. It's just an amazing feeling, and especially when you can convey how you're feeling to your audience and you get the same back from them. What an amazing feeling. Before, before I was 16, didn't even think about playing guitar at all. Never thought to pick a guitar up, never really listened to guitar. Um, until one day, my dad was playing, and he always played this one song, Top Gun, the theme song, Top Gun. And uh, I remember he was playing, he was sitting down in the lounge room, and he was playing it on the electric guitar. And I thought, I thought to myself, that sounds really good. I really like that. read music, I can sort of read music, but it's not as if I could sit it down in front of me and play it. I can't really do that. I've never wanted to do that. I'm just, it's all visual and all, you know, I hear it and then I want to learn it and that's how I, I figure it out. So I can put a CD on and go, I really like that song. I really love that rhythm part there. And I'll sit down and I'll figure it out. I don't need notation to show me how to do that. I'll just pick up on it. The way it happened was, before my parents separated, um, when I was very little, I remember hearing Big Machine by Jeff Atchison, and a song stuck out to me. I, I can't remember how old I was. I was. It would have been probably about nine, nine or ten. I was pretty young. And I just loved it. it I just loved that song. It's called Kissing Angels. And that was the sort of music that they were listening to. So they were listening to a lot of blues, a lot of BB King, Stevie Ray, you know, Jimmy Vaughan, Freddie King, all the, all the cool cats. And that's how I got into the blues because they were listening to it when I was very little. So it's, I didn't really have a choice. I didn't have any other influences of, of music coming in, you know, except blues and also a lot of country. I love country music. You know, there's, there's country players that can quite easily do blues and would leave most blues guitarists for dead. They are just all-round musicians. Uh, so I love Brad Paisley, Keith Urban, Vin Skill, um, you know, Albert Lee, um, Brett Mason. All, the, all those guys are just phenomenal musicians. Funny, but I went out um, Friday, yeah, Friday night with with my cousin, uh, two of my cousins, and he put on a Stevie Ray Vaughan track, and it was um, Life Without You, uh, which that that brings tears to, my, tears to my eyes. It's just such a beautiful song, and Tim Pan Alley, just amazing songs. Um, I often often listen to um, you know a lot of music where it. it it's very emotional for you. Who inspires me? Um, it's it's never just one. It's it's always a lot. 
um, lately is Ray Beadle, um, Australian artist up in Sydney. I just love Ray. He's just a fantastic musician. Um, another one's Matt Schofield. Um, obviously Stevie Ray Vaughan. Not, not so much. I don't listen to Stevie Ray much anymore. I try and because I found in my early years I was sort and, sort of copying him a little bit, I suppose you could say. I was sort of going down that path too much. I need to find my own style. So I spread my wings out and I've been listening to lots of artists now. Lots and lots, you know. One of my favourites at the moment is Joe Bonamassa. So I want to get into the, a little bit more, um, you know, in your face sort of blues, really more hard hitting blues, you know what I mean? Um, and just rock it up a bit more, because oh, I do like rock. <laughs> I really do. Anybody that says, you know, he can't play blues, he's too young, he doesn't know what love is, he doesn't know how to feel, that's just wrong. It's, it's about how that person's feeling themselves. You know, they might have, um, you know, they might be year seven and their girlfriend left them and it's the end of the world, you know, to us, because we're a bit older, we, you go, mate, grow up, it's nothing. But to that person at the time, that is a big deal. And you can get some really good music from it. I could see myself on a big stage just playing all 100,000 people. It's what I want to do, you know. I love seeing the enjoyment on people's face. I love people dancing, getting up to music. I love people buying your CDs and they listen to it and they spread it around to their friends, that sort of thing. I love it. If I didn't have music, I would be a very depressed person. Let's just put it that way. I, I love playing it, I love hearing it. You know, I, I don't just necessarily love playing, I love actually sitting back and watching some other bands, you know, and, and just picking up a few things and just see how they connect with the music as such. Um, but music's, music's interesting. It can be expressed a lot of different ways and taken a lot of different ways. Thank you, Dr. Luke Shelley. They're high speed steel. Thanks, guys. Oh, God, that's right.